Hey everybody, it's Eric from the MMG. Welcome to our channel. Today I'm very excited to be bringing you a video on how to make your very own satisfactory dedicated server. Please do make sure you subscribe and follow our channel. I will try to answer all your questions the best I can. Subscribers first, but I will try to get to the other ones too. But we really need your support to keep growing the community here. All right, let's get into this. First off, Satisfactory. We're going to be doing this using Steam CMD, CMD, excuse me, and it's going to be on Windows. So the first thing you need to do if you don't have Steam CMD is you want to Google Steam CMD. Pretty simple, right? Let's do it. Hit enter. You're going to have this Valve Developer Community link come up. You want to click on that. Then you, we're doing it for Windows. So you want to click on the Windows button and then download Steam CMD for Windows. There's a little one here you can click on. And that will download the zip file for you. You need to extract that. I recommend you put it into a folder that you can get to easily. I have a shortcut here on my desktop. I extracted it and then it's, you know, all these files are, are there because I've downloaded games and stuff. But what you should have in yours when you extract it is just a st simple file that says Steam CMD. You want to run that. And it's going to actually download and update and it's going to fill in some of your folder here. That's files that you need. Once it's done, you should be at a Steam prompt like I am. And then you just need to type in login space anonymous. Then hit enter. And it's going to log you in. Some games require you to own the game to, to host a server. So if you're doing this for a different game, Satisfactory does not require that. But if you're doing this for a different game, you may have to use your Steam login information there. And the password will not show up when you're typing it. So just be aware of that. I get that question a lot. All right, so once you're logged in, you should be at another Steam prompt. It should say waiting for client blog, configured, all that stuff is okay. We're in. That's what we really, really needed. All right, once you're back at the prompt and it's done, you need to type in app, A-P-P underscore update, U-P-D-A-T-E. Just like that, hit a space. And then the ID number for Satisfactory's dedicated server is 1690800. Then you want to hit enter. And this is going to download the dedicated server files onto your folder here. It's going to actually put it in the Steam Maths folder. I'll show you that here in a second. But you need to let this finish downloading. It can take a little bit of time depending on your internet connection. All right, so once it's done and you have success app installed, fully installed, you are good. You should be at another command prompt here. You can just type in exit and hit enter and exit out of there. Now you want to go back to the folder where you originally installed Steam CMD and you're going to see a bunch of folders. One of them is Steam apps. You want to go into Steam apps. Then you want to go into common and you should see your satisfactory folder in here. These are some other dedicated servers I've hosted. That's why you see those. So click on Satisfactory Dedicated Server, and then you should be into a uh, folder that says factoryserver.exe. This is where we want to create our file. So we're going to create a .bat to actually run and execute the server. So once you're inside this folder, just right click inside of it and go to New. And you want to say New Text Document. And then we're going to name it Start Server. You can name it, you can name this anything by the way. Just remember what you named it and then you want to get rid of the dot text and put dot bat and then hit enter it'll ask if you're sure you want to do this say yes now if yours says dot bat dot text you need to come up here to um, view on the the folder browser here and where it says file name extensions put a check mark there okay now it'll let you change the extension from the from the name like we just did all right, and once you have this, we want to open this. You can do it with any text editor. I always recommend Notepad++. Whoops, I totally clicked the wrong one there. Now we're just going to type in factory, F-A-C-T-O-R-Y, server, all together, dot E-X-E. Just like that. And then we're going to put a space and then a uh, dash, or not a dash, a, uh, yeah, a dash, and then log, space, dash, un, attended just like that so that's what we're going to put in for this and then we're going to go up to file make sure we save that's all we're going to put into the dot bat now this is going to start the server for us so that's what your next step is go ahead and double click on your start server dot bat to start the server and you should see it start to fill up a bunch of text a bunch of information 
This is actually starting the server. This is where a lot of issues can happen. Um, a lot of times people just don't have the right dependencies. Make sure you have your .NET updated. So that's just through Windows Update. So make sure your Windows machine is fully updated with .NET. And then also, if you, if you have an error about some DLLs missing and stuff like that, that could be a DirectX issue. Make sure you have uh, DirectX updated and repaired. And then the other thing people run into is Visual Basic. So make sure you have uh, VB updated if you um, are missing some kind of weird DLLs that are related to that. And you can just Google those and just make sure it's from a legit source, Microsoft normally, for, for most of those, all those really. And uh, you can get that fixed pretty quickly. All right, the other thing I want to mention is you can go to our website, matureMindedGamers.com, hit enter. Should look like this. There, I have a server files tab here. Click on this. This is some server files for other dedicated servers I've made videos for. Click on satisfactory here. And you don't actually need to log in. You can close out all that login stuff. You'll see the text for the uh, start server.bat right here. So you can just copy it from here or you can even download it. Uh, this uh, it would be an easy way to get the .bat if you need it. All right, looks like our server is finished loading. You should be uh, kind of at a screen like this with some uh, time and update intervals at the bottom. That kind of means it's done loading. That's what you want. Now we want to shut the server down, so make sure you click on the window and then hit Control C. For some reason, I don't know why you have to do it a couple times, um, but that'll shut down the server. All right, so now make sure your server is up and running again. So run the dot .bat, and it should have you on a screen like that. Now you want to actually open Satisfactory on your gaming computer. So this is the computer that you're going to play on, not host the server on. And now we're going to actually claim the server itself. So here you load into Satisfactory like I've done here. You do want to make sure you're on the same version. If you look in the bottom left of the screen there, you'll see the version, early access version, CL down there at the bottom. You want to make sure that you're on the latest version and the dedicated servers on the latest version. To update your dedicated server, just do the very first commands we did. Update underscore, or, or sorry, just do the very first steps. Update underscore app, and then the ID number that I put in there, and that will actually update your server for you. Now, to claim the server, you want to go to server manager here. It's going to prompt you, you want to hit add server. And now you actually want to put in the internal IP address of your dedicated server. Whatever, uh, if you're on the same LAN, make sure you put in the, the LAN ID, so the LAN address, and it's, for most people, it's going to be, start with a, a 192.168 something something. Um, you can, you, if you've also named your server, you can put in the name of the server itself. Just make sure you put it in correctly here, like I've done, and then hit confirm, make sure the port's still set, and it's going to actually connect to your server, and it's going to say this server is unclaimed, you will need to follow a few steps before you can, before you would be able to connect to it. Turn around to leave it unclaimed, but note that you will be unable to join until the server is configured. So this is when you actually name your server. So this is gonna be the public name. We're gonna name ours MMG. It's MMG dedicated for now. Hit, hit confirm. Now you can set up an admin password in here if you want. Hit confirm. Now you can cr create or load a game before you join it. So now you want to go over to the Create tab. And then you get to pick your st starting area. Say we want to do the grass fields. We're going to name this session Grass Fields. Enable to join the game once the server is done loading. So if you want to join it once it's done loading, click on that box. Uh, you can also go up here to server settings and change some stuff. Here's your name again, session name, change the password, pause the game when no players are connected, save it when a player disconnects, yes. Manage saves, here will be your saves once the game is up and running for a while, and then here's the console, so we can enter console commands. So, once you have everything set and you're ready to create, go back to the create tab, and we're going to hit create game. And there it goes, since I checkmarked that box, it's now connected me to the server which is what you want. Once again, if any of this, if you're having problems connecting to anything, the server initially or this part, your ports are not open correctly. Go back to that, that's where you're stuck at. You have to open your ports on your firewall and your router. So don't forget to do that, because without that, none of this is gonna work at all. All right, so your friends can join your game a couple different ways. Once you are in the game yourself, you can actually come out here to multiplayer settings, 
and then go to session settings and there will be a show game ID right here. You can just hit copy to clipboard. This has to be set to public or friends only, I mean, excuse me. And then send that to your friends in uh, chat and then they can join the game by going out. I'm going to show you go to the main menu real quick. You would obviously send that to your friend. You it would tell them to go join a game and then join by session ID right here. And then they can copy that in there and then join you that way. The other way they can join, if you want to do this, they can actually add the server themselves, but they have to have your external IP address. So they would come here, do like we did, and basically add the server here, but they have to use your external IP address instead of your internal one here to get it added. So that's the other way they can join the server. And then once they have that done, all they have to do is click on here and then click join game right there. All right, that has been it. Please help us support our community by hitting that subscribe button. Make sure you stay tuned for more updates and have yourself a great day.